ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. Correct, K-Check. At ako naman si Jones Giang and this is K-Check with another season of Teaching and Learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Aying is a geography student of UP Diliman. His hobbies are watching anime and creating maps. Wow. Bagay siya sa course. Mm -hmm. He also listens to K-pop. Ito na, Steph. Steph is a BS statistics student. She enjoys watching movies, listening to music, and playing gunfight games. Akalain mo yan. Meet Rav. He's an undergrad studying geography at UP Diliman. When he's not jamming into tunes, he's all about using remote sensing to explore different parts of the world and diving into virtual spaces to understand them. And last but not least, RG is an industrial engineering student of UP Diliman. His hobbies are working out, playing the guitar, and watching Korean dramas. He also loves listening to OPM music. His favorite band is the Ridleys. So, of course, this four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. Up next, we have Professor Ricky Nellias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the capital city of the United States of America? Rav. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is correct. Hey, check. Question number two. What popular pasta, which is usually baked with cheese, is made from semolina and shaped in the form of slender tubes? Rav. Lasagna. Lasagna is mali. Ready mag steal. Five seconds. Pasta, pasta. Okay, the correct answer is macaroni. Okay, question number three. Which former PBA champion team has a name that is the same as the largest state in the United States? The correct answer is Alaska. Question number four. This is a mental problem in geometry. The side of a square is four inches long. What is its area in square inches? RG. 16 square inches. 16 is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What ocean separates the Philippines from South America? Rab. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In what province can you find the municipalities Baliwag and Ubando? Rab. Bulacan. Bulacan is correct. Hey, check. Question number seven. What fictional 2021 Netflix series featured 456 mostly Korean contestants and was remade as a reality survival game show in 2023? Rav. Squid Game. Squid Game is correct. Hey, check. Question number eight. Voiced by Jack Black. What is the name of the title character in the 2008 film Kung Fu Panda? Sino ang pida doon? What's the name of the character? Hindi po umabot. The answer is Poe. Okay. Question number nine. 
The Eiffel Tower dominates the skyline of which European city? Rav. Paris. Paris is correct. P-check. Question number 10. What chemical element and mineral has the symbol P? RG. Phosphor. Phosphor. Uh, wrong. Rav. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is correct. K-check. Question number 11. What do you call the traditional form of courtship in the Philippines where men serenade women at night? RG. Harana. Harana is correct. K-check. Last question for this round, number 12. How many years are there in a century? RG. 100 years. 100 years is correct. K-check. That ends round number one. Thank you very much, Jules. After that round, we have Rav in the lead with 60 points, followed by RG with 30. Of course, Aying and staff have zero points each, but of course, there's always opportunity to catch up. Ngayon naman, attorney, kausapin natin ulit mga contestants natin. Si Aying, very interesting yung hobby niya kasi gumagawa siya ng mapa. So, ano-ano na yung mga lugar na nagawa mo ng mapa? Different places of Philippines. I, I also create map for the whole country. So, more than 100 of maps na yung nagawa ko. And then, ginagawa ko na rin siya as a opportunity para maka-earn ng money as a supporting student sa UP. So, parang yun na yung work ko ngayon as a freelance map maker. Different kinds of map from landform analysis, gastronomic map, historical mapping, and other kind of maps po. Gastronomical mapping. para sa maginhawa. <laughs> Parang nakakagutom na naman yan. Mm -hmm. Si Steph naman daw mahilig sa gunfight games. Yung ating unik aiha for today, may violent streak ka ba or asintado ka lang talaga? It depends on the mood lang po talaga. If I'm calmly ga playing uh, games, mas asintado po. <laughs> Kapag mahirap yung mga probability sa stat, doon ka na dyan. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for her, guys. <laughs> okay, paraming salamat. Mamaya, kakusapin natin, iba pa natin mga contestants, pero kailangan muna natin balikan ang, ang round 2 ng ating competition. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Pika po na tayo ng points. Leading si Rav with 60 points. Followed by RG with 30 points. And kailangan pang humabol nila Aying at Steph sa ating susunod na round. Pero bago yan, Rav, ang ating lead person for now. Ano ba yung sinasabi mo sa bio mo na remote sensing? Well, yung remote sensing basically is ginagamit sa field ng geography, geology, and sa mapping tulad nung kay Aying. Basically, uh, hobby ko siya, uh, mahilig akong umikot around the world gamit yung Google Maps and yung Google Earth. Uh, basically, I don't have money to go around the world pa, pero hopefully in the future, magamit natin yung iba't ibang sensors na yan. Narinig niya ang aking intake of breath sa around the world. Sumula dun sa around the world, sa remote sensing, pero naman si RG, kakaiba rin. Kung yung ibang tao, hirap na hirap, pilitin ang sarili na mag-workout, siya eh, hobby niya lang naman. So, RG, paano mo ito nagiging motivation? Growing up po kasi is lagi po kasi akong insecure sa sarili ko. Tapos, and mahilig din po kasi ako sa sports and physical activities. So, one time po na invite po ako ng friends ko na pumunta po sa gym. Tapos, lagi na po akong kami nag-gym. And then, nung nakikita ko po yung results yung, and yung progress ko, uh, lagi na po akong nagpupunta ng gym kasi it makes me feel good po. A sample ng masa. Pa, sample? <laughs> How many times a week ka nag-workout? Uh, kapag wala pong exams, three times a week po. Pero kapag may exams po, once lang. So yan na, sana ma-motivate yung mga nanonood ng K-Check. Sana ma-motivate tayo. Yes. And now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. Originally established in 1863 for war victims, 
Which international humanitarian agency now has 16 million volunteers whose aim is to alleviate human suffering, protect life and health, and uphold human dignity, especially during armed conflicts and other emergencies? The correct answer is the Red Cross or the Red Crescent. Question number two. What island country is only 150 kilometers from the northernmost point of the Philippines? Rav. Taiwan. Taiwan is the correct answer. K okay, check. Question number three. In pop music, You Broke My Heart is a 2023 hit. Which male artist sang this song whose name also means a male duck? What is a drake? Question number four. Which plant contains oil that is a popular mosquito and insect repellent as well as an ingredient for soap, candles, and perfumes? The correct answer is citronella. Question number five. Baka mas madali to para sa mga contestants natin. In mathematics, how many prime numbers less than 10 are there? Sabi sa inyo, bilis ni RG. Five. The answer is wrong. Steph. Three. The answer is wrong. Rav? Four. They are two, three, five, and seven. The answer is four. Question number six. What part of the human cell is separated from the rest of the cell by the nuclear membrane, regulates the activities of the cell, and carries the gene? The correct answer is nucleus. Alam ni Rav. Question number seven. The game of ping pong is more formally called as what Olympic sport? Aying. Table tennis. Table tennis is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, what is the most consumed fruit in the world? together with its relative, the plantain. Aying. Banana. Banana is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. Known as the king of rock and roll, who recorded the number one songs, Love Me Tender and Jailhouse Rock? And I thought people would be making a beeline for the buzzer. The correct answer is Elvis Presley. Does that sound familiar? Yes. Thank God it sounds familiar. Question number 10. Toronto is the most populous city in what country? Rav. Canada. Canada is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. In 2016, which female singer's best-selling songs were Focus, Dangerous Woman, and Side to Side, Rav? Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is the correct answer. K. Chet. Last question for this round. Which special administrative region in China banned and regulated the use of single-use plastic? in 2023. Rav. Hong Kong. Hong Kong is the correct answer. k -check. And that's it for our second round. So, contestants, tingnan natin ang naging performance ninyo sa round na yan. Rav has 160 points, followed by Aying with 40 points, RG with 20 points, and Steph has negative 10, pero kaya mo pang humabol sa ating next round. Parang statistically impossible yan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> pero hindi pa tapos ang laban, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check.
and welcome back to K-Check at nandito na nga tayo sa Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Dito po, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So let's go for the win. Okay, remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin! First question will come from Prof. Mitzi. Okay, the question is, what is the title of the painting of Juan Luna, which he worked on for eight months, and this gardener garnered the first gold medal out of three at the Exposición Nacional de Bellas Artes in 1884 in Madrid? A. Odalisk. B. Spolarium. Rev. B. Spolarium. Uh, this was restored and donated to the Philippines by the Spanish government. And this is currently exhibited at the National Museum. Spolarium is correct. Kate check. Property. Within the human body, which system is responsible for transporting nutrients, oxygen, and waste products to and from the cells? A. Nervous system. Aying. A nervous system. Pale. B muscular system. C circulatory system. Rev. C circulatory system. The circulatory system, including the heart and blood vessels, transports essential substances throughout the body. K check. Drop blue. Asian history. What religion that originated in India? was divided into the white robe and sky-clad sects in the 5th century schism. Letter A, Hinduism. Aying. Hinduism. Incorrect. Let me continue. Letter B, Buddhism. Buddhism. B, Buddhism. Incorrect. Letter C, Jainism. Letter D, Sikhism. RG. C. C po. The correct answer is C, Jainism. K, check. What classification do you refer to any form of visual art that possesses the dimensions of length and width but does not possess depth? A, mixed media. B, pop art. C, three dimensional art. D, two dimensional art. RG. Letter D, two-dimensional art. Two-dimensional art. This includes art forms such as drawings, prints, and photographs, but not sculptures, installations, and 3D paintings. The answer is correct. Okay, check. So freaky. Okay. What's the primary component responsible for the formation of coral reefs, providing the structural foundation for this underwater ecosystems? A. Calcium carbonate B. Silica C. Magnesium sulfate D. Sodium chloride and E. Potassium sulfate Coral reefs are primarily formed by the accumulation and hardening of calcium carbonate skeletons secreted by coral polyps. The correct answer is letter A, calcium carbonate. Thank you, Prof. Lu. Philippine history question. After the death of her husband, Andres Bonifacio, Gregoria de Jesus was later married to whom? Letter A, Julio Nakpil. Letter B, Felipe Calderon. Letter C, Juan Arellano. Letter D, Aurelio Tolentino and letter E, Isabelo de los Reyes. The correct answer is A, Julio Nakpil. Who is the national artist who created Kalabog and Bosho in Philippine comics? A, Ben Alcantara, B. Nonoy Marcelo, C. Larry Alcala, 
D. Tony Velasquez E. Paul Medina Jr. He created more than 500 characters and 20 comic strips in widely circulated publications. His most iconic work was Slice of Life, about images of Filipino everyday life. The answer is Larry Alcala. Prof. Kiki. Sa chemistry naman tayo. Within the periodic table, elements in the same column share similar chemical properties. What are these vertical columns called? A. Periods B. Groups C. Actinides D. Series and E. Metalloids Groups or families in the periodic table are the vertical columns and elements within the same group exhibit similar chemical behavior. The correct answer is B. Groups. Thank you. Philippine geography naman tayo. Uy, exciting times. <laughs> what is the capital of the province of Apayao? Letter A, Puntol. Letter B, Luna. Letter C, Santa Marcela. Letter D, Tabugao. Letter E, Flora. Rev? D, Kabugao. D, Kabugao is correct. Okay, check. Last set of questions for this round. Prof. Nitsi. The question is on painting. What is the style of painting developed in France during the mid to late 19th century? And the characterization of the style includes small visible brush strokes that offer the bare impression of form, unblended color, and an emphasis on the depiction of natural light, and the main subjects were landscapes and scenes of everyday life. A. Expressionism B. Impressionism C. Realism D. Modernism E. Naturalism Rev? C. Realism Incorrect. Steph? E. Naturalism Incorrect. Ayin? Impressionism the artists who founded this movement were Claude Monet, Edgar Degas, Camille Pizarro, among others. It is a style based on the practice of painting out of doors and spontaneously on the spot rather than in the studio for sketches. The answer is Impressionism. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Ricky. Biology naman tayo ngayon. What is the process by which a cell engulfs and internalizes large particles or even other cells? A. Endocytosis B. Exocytosis C. Phagocytosis D. Pinocytosis or E. Active transport Ayin. Letter C. Phagocytosis the correct answer is phagocytosis. This is the process by which cells engulf and internalize large particles or other cells. K check. Thank you. Last question for the round, Prof. Lu. Asian history. Which dynasty was responsible for starting the construction of the Great Wall of China? Letter A, Shang Dynasty. Letter B, Zhao Dynasty Letter C Qin Dynasty Letter D Han Dynasty or Letter E Sui Dynasty Ayin. Letter C Qin Dynasty The correct answer is Qin Dynasty K check And that's it for K check Ultimate Pagalingan Congratulations to Rav our K check daily winner with a final score of 220 
points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in the semi-final. Thanks to Aying, Steph, and RG for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lee. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another Day Check. Day Check.